I well, the other thing that's thing. funny is they vote not to censure really uh, to lead for you the know, it, you're right we've i've got a list of things the republican party is failing miserably man i mean right. I, i've seen some things let's go with that uh right off the bat uh what was that again? What were, which one were you talking about? I got about it was uh, it was the motion to censor. Okay, yeah, this is uh, this is something that's ridiculous. There's uh, there was a uh, MTG put out a uh, resolution uh, to censure Michigan Democrat Representative Rashida Tlaib for several, and she outlined several things that we all know she did. We heard her say it, you know, and. Uh, Thought it was a slam dunk. Right. In other words, <clears throat> she was out there and she was trying to get Democrats to get on board uh, so they could make this happen. And, uh, man, 12 Republicans. Was it 12 or 22? 22. 22. That's all. Republicans voted to not censure right. Rashida Tlaib after this massacre in Israel. Our party cannot even get behind something as, as basic as that. This and is, this is terrible. just understand, it doesn't mean anything. It's a public commendation of what you did. And I think anybody that looks at Tlaib's comments, I don't even think we could play them on, on our platforms, the stuff she was saying, you know, because we're streamed on Facebook and YouTube and some of those things, and the stuff she was saying is was awful. And the Republicans can't even agree to condemn her, but... But then in the next vote, it's like, let's kick George Santos out. And of, she's out been of the doing house. this. She's been doing this for years. This didn't just start. Right. Uh, in, in other words, the, the first count in the resolution is from 2019 when she celebrated the Holocaust and said she felt a calming feeling when thinking about genocide of millions of Jews. A House member right. saying that. And then there's one in 2020, another one 2022, 2023. It goes on and on. And these Republicans, what they've done, and this is the part that makes me the maddest, She's not going to stop now. Right. She's going to ramp it up now. She's an agent of, of the PLO, of Hamas right. in there. That's who put her there. You know, this is this is ridiculous. We got to get, we got to clean this party up. I'm going to name these people because some of them are your heroes. Heck yeah. Tim Wahlberg, Thomas Massey, Kelly Armstrong, Max Miller, John Duarte, John Mulinar, Bill Hazenga, Daryl Issa. Victoria Sparks, a Ukrainian Nazi. How about that? Dusty Johnson, Harriet Hageman, Liz Cheney's replacement, Morgan Griffith, the biggest heartbreak of all, Byron Donalds, Michael Turner, Ken Buck. We got some more on him in a minute. Uh, Austin Scott, Glenn Grotham, Tom McClintock, Chip Roy, Marionette Miller Meeks, Patricia McCormick, and Doug LaMalfa. I don't know. I don't have you looked in. To what their reasoning was on this? Several, several people have tweeted about it. Like Chip Roy did kind of a breakdown and, and it's typical Republican garbage where the, where I said, you know, I agree what she said was bad and she should be censured, but this censor resolution had things in it that weren't true. And, and he put a bunch of gobbledygook on there about, about that. And Don't forget to share your comments below. And visit and share WayneDupree.com for latest news and opinions. Follow us on social media platforms by searching for at Wayne Dupree Show. Thanks for listening.